In this video, we're going to calculate the probability of a single event, going through some example problems. So the probability of getting ahead from flipping a coin, the probability of getting ahead from flipping a coin, P, H here, is going to be the number of ways to get ahead. There's only one way. And the total number of equal possible outcomes. So a coin has two sides, a head and a tail. So it's going to be 1 divided by 2, or 0 0.5. 50% chance of getting ahead on flipping a coin. The probability of getting ahead or a tail from flipping a coin is going to be the probability of getting ahead plus a probability of getting a tail. And the probability of getting ahead is 1 divided by 2. And the probability of getting a tail, there's only one way to get a tail, and there's two outcomes, so that's also 1 half. And so we get a probability of 1. This will happen with 100% certainty. Just to note, the probability of getting a tail will equal 1 minus the probability of getting a head, if you were just to solve this top equation for the probability of getting a tail. Or likewise, if you were to solve this equation for the probability of getting a head, it's just 1 minus the probability of getting a tail. Now let's do some dice examples. The probability of getting a 2 from rolling a 6-sided die. So the number of ways to get a 2, there's only one way to get a 2 and the total number of equally possible outcomes. So a die has six sides, so it's just going to be 1 divided by 6. The probability of getting a 2 or 6 from rolling a six-sided die, probability of a 2 or 6, is going to be 2 divided by 6. So six equally possible outcomes. And in the numerator, we could get a 2 or a 6. So there are two ways that we can get this result. And so this will simplify to 1 -third. Number four, the probability of getting an even number, 2, 4, or 6, from rolling a six-sided die. So we can get this occurrence from three possibilities here. So 3 divided by 6, or 1 half. The probability of not getting a 4 from rolling a six-sided die. The probability of not getting a 4 is going to be 1 minus the probability of getting a 4. So 1 minus the probability of getting a 4. And getting a 4, getting any number, you have a probability of 1, 6. So this will simplify to 5, 6. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.